Welcome to the Vetter Keystone Integration Training Session. The Vetter Keystone Integration provides a seamless imaging request process that sends patient information from Vetter to your work list enabled modalities like digital radiography and ultrasound. After images are acquired, they are immediately available in the Keystone Viewing Suite as well as the Vetter patient record. You'll also be able to pull up your images in Keystone directly from the Vetter patient record. Let's get started and I'll demonstrate the entire process for you. Start by logging into your Vetter account. Now that we're logged in, search for the patient that requires imaging. Go to the patient tab, and then we can search for Cookie, who I'll be using as my test case today. In this case, let's assume the veterinarian has requested four view radiographs on Cookie. To make a request for imaging, go to the History dropdown and select New Record. Now select Medical Record. Start by entering your item, which in this case will be four view radiographs. Something to note here, Vetter allows for custom items with billing triggers. Doing an imaging request in Vetter will allow your practice to capture billing upfront. Now that I've entered four view x-rays, you'll see send to device listed as DR or digital radiograph. This means the request along with the patient information will be sent to your x-ray unit's work list. The filled by category is also listed as a steris, so we can go ahead and finalize this request. Now that the request has been sent to the X-ray work list, go to the X-ray acquisition PC, select and query the work list. You should see the patient name populate and you'll be able to create a study now. Go ahead and capture your images and then end the study. The images will now go to the Keystone viewing suite and since we did the request in Vetter, the images will also show up in the Vetter patient record. Within several minutes of capturing your images, you should be alerted that the images have arrived in the Vetter patient record. Now we can click on the View Online Asteris to pull up the images directly. Now we can view our images within the Keystone Omni platform. All of the tools and measurements will be at your disposal. Be sure to log in if you'd like to save any annotations. The captured images are now available in both Keystone and the Vetter patient record. We can easily launch the Keystone viewing platform from the Vetter patient record by clicking on the four view x-ray record and view online Asteris. Now let's have a look at how to handle unassigned images or imaging that was taken during an emergency. If there's a situation where emergency imaging is required and you don't have time to send a request to Vetter, go ahead and enter your patient's information at the modality and acquire your images. Once the patient is stable and you have time, go into the patient section of Vetter. Select the unassigned images tab now we can see a list of images that are unassigned. Find the patient that you took the x-rays on during the emergency. In this case, we'll use Cookie. On the far right, select the Assign Images dropdown. Now we can enter the desired patient file and create an appropriate Vetter imaging request. Enter in the type of imaging that you required and hit save. Now the imaging has been sent to the patient file. Now both imaging requests will be available in Cookie's file. And a quick reminder, you can launch the Keystone Omni Viewer directly from Vetter by clicking View Online Asteris. Well, this is going to conclude our training session on the Vetter Keystone integration. Stay tuned for more videos to come.